it's your girl Mia Pia. Welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a minute, but you know, your girl be doing stuff. She be busy. But I'm gonna really start being more active, more consistent with my videos. So today is Sunday. Um, it's kind of just like a clean up, self care day. Um, so I have, my room's a mess. Like, look at this. It's just honestly crazy. My desk chair bed look at Callie oh say hi Callie okay um dresser like honestly I gotta clean today it's it's a must so let me put you down here okay so it's just a clean day you're just gonna you know watch me try to make my room a little bit more presentable so. All right, it's a girl Mia Pia here with the whole voiceover heard. So y'all already know I'm not gonna let you guys watch me clean my room for the whole time. So this is the perfect time to do story time. So let's just get into it. I'm gonna tell you guys how it was being a theater major and a business minor for undergrad and a business administration student for grad school. But hold on, I'm about to say something important. If you haven't invested in a bed that has drawers, please do so. Because honestly, it's the best thing that you can have. Like, I have so much clothes. I don't even want to talk about it right now, but most of them, not most of them, I would say 20% is in my drawer. And it's a lifesaver. Okay, so as I was saying, being a theater major and a business minor for undergrad, let's just start there. Honestly, I love theater. I'm more of like the behind the scenes kind of girl. So I like the lighting. I like the construction for the set. I don't do the acting part. I don't, I'm not on stage. I'm off stage and I'm the stage manager, the lights coordinator, lights designer, all that fun stuff. That was fun and I had so much fun. Um, honestly, I wish I was more involved uh, during school time, but it was I, I guess, you know, do what you gotta do to get the grade, cause that's how it is now, or, you know, that's how it is. It's all about the grade. And being a business minor, I took that on uh, sophomore year. I didn't start being a, a business minor freshman year, cause that's not really what, what I wanted to do. I wanted to do theater. And my mom, she was telling me I should do backup. It's very important if you are doing theater please have a backup because I needed one <laughs> the pandemic happened and I really wanted to get into theater but I couldn't do that because the pandemic happened so I had business to fall back on which honestly is the best thing ever so make sure you have a backup that's very important Okay, so I went to SUNY Oneonta for undergrad, and it was a pretty small school. The campus was beautiful. It was upstate, so it was very, very cold most of the time, which I hate, but it was still nice. Um, and the theater major, it was like honestly very small as well. Like everybody knew everybody, and um, there were times where you had to be a part of the plays. Um, and honestly it was fun but it cuts into your life and I remember at one time like, I was dead like crying because I was just joining um, a co-ed fraternity Alpha Phi Omega and uh, I was kind of sad because I couldn't be a part of all the fun things that they were doing because I had to be a part of the play and I was just very upset about that <laughs> and I had to do what I had to do honestly so I did it and it is what it is now looking back at it I really wish I would have been more involved um, only because I enjoyed it and now that the pandemic happened like you can't really do theater anymore because most of the theaters are closed and they are opening back up now but I kind of missed my opening window because I went straight into grad school. But we're gonna get into that in a bit. So I would have to say like some of my favorite classes for theater major has been like the lighting class. That was so much fun. It was hands-on. 
and honestly I wish I would have been able to like go up in the catwalk but I went on a genie it's like this little it's like this big machine that goes all the way all the way all the way up like feet and I was on there doing lights and stuff like that and I felt like a boss because you know not everybody can ride that and like drive it so I was one of those that can drive it and I was like yep I'm up here and what but um it was fun <laughs> And I yeah, like I said, I really would have I really wish I would have done the catwalk. I feel like that would have been fun. But I don't know. I guess you probably have to volunteer or already have been doing it. So there was a training I think involved in that. So I don't think that's I think that's why I didn't get a chance to do it. So yeah, like I said, the lighting class was one of my favorite classes. Stagecraft, one of my favorite classes. That was also a hands-on class because you had to like cut the wood and actually like design not design but like craft the sets that's put on in the school so like you had to be a part of creating the sets for that play so that was like honestly fun to do um, got to work with a whole bunch of machines cut a lot of wood surprisingly I didn't get any splinters so that was cool um, but yeah, and then last but not least, I feel like one of my surprisingly favorite classes was like the acting class. One, because one of my favorite professors was teaching that class, and two, I was able to be myself. There were a whole bunch of like different activities that we had to do in the class, where we had to like make sounds or do movements and stuff like that, and we were all like standing around in, like, in a circle and do this stuff and every single time it was my turn everybody was just dying laughing because I was just doing random things like being myself like I was just being myself and everyone just was just like entertained by it I don't know if they were making fun of me I doubt they were but um because I'm funny so you know anyways <laughs> um it was a fun time I would have to say I really like that class because I was, you know, myself. So yeah, I really like theater. Honestly, I might like look into um, theater again in a couple years, perhaps. Cause like right now, my job is like I'm stable here. I'm able to like, you know, do what I do um, at flexible hours. So I love this, and I definitely will stay here for a while um, if they allow me. <laughs> and um then like start branching off into like what i really want to do which is like marketing and um like advertising and doing commercials and stuff like that and that kind of like is geared more towards theater as well so that's why theater and business go hand in hand because if there's theater there's business if there's marketing there's theater involved because you have to be on that creative side if that makes sense i hope it does but it if you're like in my position where it's more like business marketing or business advertising like theater and business go hand in hand which is why it was a great idea for me to do business minor because i was able to you know focus on the advertising aspects in my classes or the marketing aspects so i was able to do a whole bunch of stuff like that and <laughs> let's just say for the business classes I absolutely hated accounting, still hate it to this day. Um, marketing, advertising, those kind of classes I really liked and like the um, group projects were fun but I honestly hate group projects. Like no one knows how to do their job and it's just stressful. So I'm glad I'm not a student anymore but I really like those classes. Hated finance, hated the math classes because that, that was just making my brain hurt and I really need to leave when that happened because I couldn't deal with it. It was just way too much. And I passed the classes, I definitely passed, but I hated it, every second of it. And I had like friends in my classes where we would do the um, assignments together, but even that, it was just like, we didn't know what was going on. Because one thing about being a student too is you have to find a good teacher if you don't have a good teacher you can't succeed because what you learning you teaching yourself at that point basically and that ain't it 
I remember I had two ear infections and pneumonia at the same time and I was taking a finance class, accounting. And obviously I failed it because number one, I had a terrible teacher. Number two, I was sick for like a month. So not only did I have to recover and all that stuff, I had to teach myself. And I failed the class and I had to retake it. And even when I retook it, I was, it was bad. I like, I passed, but barely. Um, and I was just not having the best time in those classes. But it is what it is. It's all in the past now. I have my degree, so that's lit. Okay, so I'm almost done cleaning my room. So when I'm done with that, I'm going to start painting. And then I'll finish up my story about grad school. Okay, so. We got my room all cleaned. Finally. Okay, we have my desk all cleared up. We got my bed all cleared up, my desk all cleared up. Oh my goodness, that was a lot. Okay, okay, so I just got out the shower. Um, so I basically finished cleaning my room, thank goodness. Um, so what I kind of wanted to do is like a little bit of painting. So I have like painted in the past, but I never took it seriously and I always felt like I like to create things so um, I always saw like people doing like the sun half sunset half sunrise painting so I'm gonna try the sunset one first or the yeah the sunset one first I think that'll look pretty and I can like put it in my room somewhere um, with like my handprint or something I think that'll like, look, look cute so um, I kind of like I put out everything that I needed so I have like my brushes, the paint, I have like the acrylic uh, pads, I have some markers, and then I have my canvases here. So I'm gonna try it out and see how it goes. Um, this is, I wanna say this is kinda like my first time because I'm actually taking it seriously and I wanna like actually do a good job. So, um, like in the past, like I've done like the number canvases, but honestly, like it just took me such a long time to do, and I kind of lost interest because it wasn't looking good, in my opinion. I don't know, like the numbers are too small to like really get like good pigment on the paintings, or maybe it was just that one. I'm not sure, but I'm gonna take my time and do this right. Okay, so. I'm about to start painting, so let me finish up my story time about grad school because it was just crazy. So now let's talk about grad school. So I went to Pace University, um, took online classes during the pandemic. It was only a one-year program, and I was being only a student. There were some, like some of my classmates, they were full-time. Uh, had a full-time job and was a full-time student. I don't know how they did it. It's, it's like mind-boggling to me, but I was just a student and I was just, you know, trying my best to succeed in every class that I took. Honestly, I can't even remember what the classes were because, like I said, I was mostly teaching myself. Like, having online classes, it's definitely harder because for me, I guess it's harder for me because I'd rather have that in-person connection and like be able to like, you know, see the professor. And most of the time, like, yes, the professors gave us lectures. Other times they didn't. And it was just terrible. Like, me and my classmates had no idea what was going on, especially for the group projects. Like, they were terrible outlining what was going on like what our assignments were. We were all very confused. And then the professors even got mad at us for not knowing what was going on. Like, how you gonna get mad at us and you're not even explaining your assignment correctly? Like, come on now, get it together. But we were just struggling every single day for a whole year. <laughs> and even the graduation was just like so terrible because first off, it was online. Second off, it was like combined with like every other class in person and online. 
and I didn't even see my name on the graduating list on the YouTube thing video that they made. I was just like, wow, they really played themselves and played me, but whatever. Um, that was just a crazy year, but hey, at least I got my MBA, right? And the best part is the school, they hosted a job fair and the company that I'm working for now was at that job fair and I was able to land that job ASAP. I started in January um, and it's been going good so far ever since. And with the Children's Aid Society, that's the company, that's the company that I work for, I have a long experience with them because um, I was their student basically. Um, when I was a kid, I went to the after school program, the summer program, and I was just having the best time in my life there. They, they literally changed my life. Like They gave me all the experiences that I felt like I needed um, when I was younger, and um, it was just a fun time. And honestly, I really want my nephew to be a part of that, but um, you know, things happen. So when my kids, when I have kids, best believe they're going to the Children's Aid Society and they're gonna be a part of that company because it's just amazing. Like, I had so much fun. I had so much fun. <sighs> Memories. <laughs> but yeah, that is um, my time being a student for undergrad and grad school. I miss being a student because I love hearing, I like saying, yeah, I'm a, student, I'm a student, but now I'm saying I'm working, and I'm just like, oh my god, I feel like such a grown-up, it's weird. Okay, um, <laughs> but yeah, thanks for listening to me talk and talk about my experiences. I hope this has also maybe helped you. Uh, for whoever's a student or whoever has gone through what I have gone through, um, going to two different schools, um, having two different degrees, and trying to figure out what you want to do in life because it's honestly a struggle, even if you're in college, but it's a struggle figuring out, figuring out what you want to do with your life because you get experience, you get like, um, what's the word? Exposed, you get exposed to so many things, and you don't know what to like follow through with. And then once you graduate, you're just like, Oh snap, that happened quick! Like, those four years go by quick. Um, so make sure you hold on to those years because you're gonna wish you did if you don't. <laughs> All right, I just finished my painting, so uh, let's finish off this video. All right, final piece. Um, I kind of messed up on the side. I don't really know what I was doing with that. But uh, yeah, got my handprint, got the sunset, my first attempt. And I look decent, I guess. Um, now I'm just gonna relax for the rest of the day, probably find a movie to watch, make some reels. Um, but yeah, this is really fun. I'm definitely gonna do this again in my hand. Um, but yeah, this is fun. I wanna do this again. I'll probably do like the sun rise. Day. Thank you so much for watching and being in my room and watching the paint. It was very relaxing. Um, yeah. I hope you guys have a great week and I'll see you when I see you. Bye!